Today, mom and dad are gonna do a blind taste test of two different Nesquik's. One is the Mexican Nesquik, like the Spanish version, and then the other one is the regular American version. This one was $2.98, this one was $4.28. Um, this one is a lot cheaper and you get four ounces less, so I don't think that's that bad, but hey. Um, and thanks to Brent for giving us this idea. Um, I'm using the recipe on the box, or the container of this. So we have two identical glasses of milk, both have a cup. I'm going to, this is going to be A. I'm going to add two tablespoons to this one, as said on the package. And then I will add one and a half tablespoons of this one to this glass of milk. This one will be B. So I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. So remember that A is this one. I'm gonna slide the glass over to you. It is in the middle. Dad is going for it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And remember that B is this one. And I did make this directly like it said to, like the directions on the box said. Uh, I'll be surprised if I get this one wrong. Yeah, I can have it. Mm -hmm. I know which one I like better. And the minute it hit my tongue, I know. Which one do you like better? I like the second the one. The second better. one. The second one's the American. The second one's definitely the American. No, it's not. Yeah, I didn't think I'm going to take it off. No. Can we take it off? No, we can't. Yeah. Can we take them off? Yeah, A is for American. It I, knew it, I knew it was. Because, How did you know? Well, it you was very it. sugary and powdery. Uh, the second one was smoother like um, like cafeteria chocolate yeah, milk. It was like cafeteria chocolate milk. The second one was. The first one was more gritty and grainy and sugary. But that's not as good. I know. I agree. I think I like the... And just think it's cheaper by $2. That's crazy, because you good. know you didn't think it would be better. No, I thought they'd be better. No. Honestly, my, my gut feeling was it'd be the same. I didn't. I thought it would be like the Canadian Oreo where it wasn't as sweet, because the Canadian Oreo is much, it's just not as sweet as the American one. Uh, so this, I thought, oh, the Mexican chocolate milk won't be as sweet. That's a lot better. Why have we been buying regular... Well, guess who's buying Mexican chocolate milk from Ellen? When you just drink it, though, they taste the same. Not when, no, not one after the other. No, but I mean, when you kind of just drink it, right now I don't know either, and they taste the same. There's a very, very clear difference, I think. That that Mexican one's much, much better. At, at least you can say it's at least as good for $2 less. So oh, why, yeah. not, why not go why ahead not and get go ahead and it? Get I wonder it. if, uh, can I look at something real quick while you're still typing? Yeah. Um... Calorie wise, is it the same? You um, the Mexican one it did it was half a tablespoon less that you put in the cup. So I don't know how many uh, calories. So it's and one it was and a half. Sweeter? Yeah, it's one and a half teaspoons, and then but it's still thirteen grams to fourteen grams, and forty five to fifty calories. So the calories are basically. Wait, I don't same. think I said how many calories each one was. Tell the calories. Um, I didn't. The this one, the traditional American one. It's two tablespoons or 14 grams or 50 calories, just the mix. And the, um, the Mexican one's 13 grams or one and a half tablespoons for 45 calories. So about really six. they're about the same calories. It's a few fewer calories. Yeah, it's fewer, it's smaller weight too. Right. So it's probably the same. Well, hmm. this was fun. And now I learned something new today, thanks to Brent. <laughs> uh, Brent suggested that I try the Mexican chocolate milk, and I said, wait a minute, he wants me to try that, I've never tried it, we buy Nesquik constantly, we're going to do a blind taste test on this, so thank you uh, for the idea, the recommendation, mm -hmm. everything, we appreciate it, this has been fun, and thanks for watching.